I went aboard the battleship in August. We headed for Pearl Harbor. I'd never even heard of it. I didn't even know what it was. What happened on that day is tattooed on your soul. There's no way I can forget that. And that stuck in my ear for years. I got you, I got you. And now I'm sitting before the brother that saved my life. I started crying, tears of joy. I used to do Patriot details. You line up in two columns up to the back of a C-130. You give them a final salute as they're loaded onto the plane. I don't know how many I sent home. I am now 103, and I was the first black woman entering the Coast Guard. I could feel the weight you were carrying. What is life like for you now? It's pretty cool. (laughs) To me, Veterans Day is when you thank a veteran. Think about it, you're signing your name to lay your life on the line for the country we live in. Name's Command Sergeant Major Roy Wilkins, Special Forces Army, Ranger. My name's Keith Mellick, retired as First Sergeant, United States Army, Medical Corps. My name is Masharee Dunbar. I retired as an E-6 or a technical sergeant from the Air Force Reserves. I'm humbled, I'm honored to be chosen as one of the stories. Sometimes it's so hard to be heard, but now I feel like I will be. It's a wonderful thing that we were chosen to represent our branch of service. I'm proud to have that done. There's a different tone to this doodle than a lot of doodles that we create, but that seems like the most vital and important and a genuine thing that we can do to honor our veterans and hopefully encourage the rest of us to listen. These people are heroes, but they're also everyday individuals. My father was a pilot in the Air Force, and my grandfather was in the Navy during World War II, so well, this is a very important project for me, creatively and also personally. One of the biggest objectives for this doodle for us as a team was to make sure that we had a truly authentic experience. The VetNet, it's an employee resource group. I think of it more as a community of veterans coming together to support each other, to help work with our products, to bring out the best of Google to support veterans and active duty service members. The doodle team reached out to both Nick and I to serve as consultants on this doodle and ensure that there's authenticity ensure that our veteran employee resource group are part of this process as well. So we were thinking, what better way to really connect this objective of honoring by listening than partnering with StoryCorps to really engage in a conversation as a nation to honor people who have sacrificed so much for us. StoryCorps is a real simple idea. We started 15 years ago in Grand Central Terminal, and you bring anyone you want to honor, and for 40 minutes you just talk and listen. Google had this idea to do a tribute to veterans on Veterans Day, and we together went into our archive of stories and picked five stories, one for each branch of the military service. So we started with the audio of the veterans telling their stories, and I think our mission was to really allow those stories to be the focus. And what we hope happens is that people who have not served can just walk in the footsteps of someone who has served just for a minute and recognize, you know, what that's like. We want to support those sensitive but profound experiences with visuals that don't interfere or collide or overpower those voices. Foreign Fauna, we're able to create animations which support the audio beautifully in a very minimal, clean line style without stealing that spotlight. I'm Alicia Allen. I'm Emery Allen, and we are creative directors and co-owners of Foreign Fauna. We're a small animation studio, and we specialize in illustrative animation, specifically stuff that moves you emotionally. My mom just retired last year after 36 years in the Navy, and my dad retired on the 70th anniversary of Pearl Harbor after 20 years. We want to know what did it feel like to be there rather than what did it look like to be there, but still painting a picture that shows why service is important. And that's one thing that's really evident in every one of the stories. What's up, man? God, man, it's been so long. God. 
We get it. It's in his gym. He walked through that door right there. <laughs> and that's when Keith heard my voice. And that's he said, when you heard my voice? Yeah, and that's right. said, I'll never forget that voice? That's right. One thing this too. does is it relives it again for me. Yeah, that's right. Which is hard. But if my reliving it will help one person understand, then it's worth doing. My time in the military has been the most important and challenging and rewarding thing I've done in my life to this day. And so I hope when veterans see this doodle, they feel accurately represented. And so I hope my story gives someone else a little piece of validation for what we did over there. But one thing that we all have to know is our entire story can't be captured in a two minute snippet or a 45 minute snippet, but we've got to talk about it. We've got to share our experiences because through sharing is healing. I encourage everybody to get out and thank a vet and ask a veteran, would you like to talk? Not one veteran will turn you down and you'll make somebody's day.